I'm looking at Richco on the Bloomberg terminal. You dig in, Evan Spiegel now in ranked 280, Bobby Murphy 281. They have 5.4 billion dollars. How is this being broken down? How much more was added today? Um, it's an incredible, like, sort of rocket ship, basically, they're riding on Snap. So today, really, they added 1.6, 1.7 billion to their individual fortunes, and that's just from what it listed at, at $17 yesterday. So if you look back at the course of their fortunes, they were, like, nowhere in 2011, 2012. All of a sudden, 2014, you get this $10 billion valuation of Snap. And now I think it closed at like $28 billion today. Mm. So it's one of the all-time fantastic growth stories. Um, it's just whether it's going to continue or not. And now perhaps their cash is a little bit more liquid. We'll see how much they start spending. Well, how does this rank them in comparison to the rest of the big tech billionaires out there? 280, 281? They're definitely up there. So, you know, the classic names to compare with might be Jack Dorsey of, mm -hmm. of Twitter. He's actually only got about $1.5 billion. He also, Poor guy. Yeah, I know. You've got to feel <laughs> sorry for him. He's, you know, he's got two jobs. He's, uh, you know, also CEO of Square. Um, and then along with the other sort of startup sort of unicorn head honchos the three airbnb co-founders are about 3.6 so mm -hmm. they're ahead of them and they're just behind uh travis travis and garrett camp uh, of uber Interesting. Uh, but obviously they're way behind say the jeff bezos's the mark zuckerberg's and the bill gates who are up in the 50 70 90 billion dollar range give us not only we were just looking at a screen there talk us through it because we want not just the founders that made a lot of money but also those venture capitalists that made a, a big bet in the early days yeah exactly so benchmark just yes or sorry just today they made about 900 million and they've got about a two billion dollar position and then lightspeed ventures there's a great wow. story about how kind of evan spiel decided after dealing with lightspeed ventures that he'd uh, you know, make sure he had voting control of Snap, and they've got about six hundred billion dollar, a six hundred million dollar gain this year. Look at that, six hundred thirteen million dollars, and we're going to be, of course, um, looking at uh, my conversation with Jeremy Yu, who was one of the first investors, of course, at Lightspeed Ventures. What, what about? The bounce that we tend to see on the first day, we know that it's up 44% today. Twitter was up 73% on its first day of trading. So these sorts of fortunes aren't always stable. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't really sort of point towards what's going to be happening in the next year. You know, Twitter up, as you say, something like 70%. It's now off its IPO price, down about 30 Facebook was pretty flat on the first day of IPO, and now it's up since its IPO, 260%. Hence, hence old Zuckerberg's wealth. How is Spiegel and Murphy's sort of F fortunes changed in the founding of this company in particular you were talking us through how it was like a rocket ship and the fact that it, it all sped up so quickly but is this now the point that they actually cash out how because a lot of it is going to be locked in for the for the seeable future for a yeah so they both sold about 16 million shares in the offering so they've kind of taken home at the 17 dollar price 272 million dollars you get tax on that but they're, they're looking at a bank account of about eight 180 million uh, in terms of the snap shares yeah there'll be restrictions on when they can actually start selling and obviously they've got a huge position each and snap it's sort of about 20 percent and so i mean each so you know if they started selling that then you'd assume the value of their holding would drop down but no one can feel sorry for them uh you know they've done very well and i'm sure they'll be celebrating in la tonight